Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. It's a payroll update. It's still Christmas night and uh, I've been working on the uh, 2022 tax rates as were released by the IRS just recently here in the publication 15 and the publication 15T and uh, I felt the need to do a video about something. So when you're coding the, uh, the rates or you're trying to write a formula to figure out what the federal withholding is, there's, there's a bunch of different things you need, but there's one thing that that I thought the 15T usually provides, and apparently this year it's either an omission, I don't think it's an intentional omission, but it is an omission, which is they did not give you the annualized rate formula for, they, they usually do, but they just gave you every other one, they gave you uh, every other type of pay period, weekly, bi-weekly, semi-monthly, but they didn't give you annual, and you need the annualized rate formula to uh, properly apply it to whatever payroll period you're going to be applying it to. So what I decided to do was to code that for everyone so that everyone can have it. And, and the link will be provided in the video uh, description below so that you can have what the annualized actual rates would be for uh, the six different um, status scenarios that apply to you if you have a 2020 W-4 or later, meaning your employees filled out a more recent W-4, and they either do or do not check this box about whether or not they have dual incomes, you know, to, if, whether or not they have like two jobs. And whatever their status is, married, um, single, or head of household, um, this, this is what the monthly version is. If the payer is monthly, there's no annualized table uh, for some reason. So I created the annualized table. By multiplying these numbers by 12, this should work and should be accurate. Um, if it's not accurate, obviously we'll find out very soon as I publish this video, get an angry email from the IRS. You, should, you, you generally don't get emails from the IRS, but get an angry phone call. Well, no, actually, get, get a phone call from the IRS is probably not them either. They send you stuff in the mail. The point is, is I'll get an angry letter in the mail that I gave out wrong rates on the YouTube video and I'll fix it immediately. But I think this is what they are. If you apply, and I typed all this incorrectly, and I will have this file, in, like I said, in the download of the description below. And it's just, you know, what's kind of interesting and what I want to have a little talk about in this video is how when you're taxing at a progressive structure, you're just saying that a certain amount of money you make is taxed at a higher percentage. But all the different levels that it took you to get to that higher income still get taxed at their appropriate rates of 10, 12 percent, 22 percent, 24 percent, 32, all the way up to the top to if you're making over $673,000 a year married filing jointly and the box is not checked on your W-4. Um, so it was kind of interesting to see how a lot of these numbers are redundant. I mean, th these numbers appear, I mean, basically three times in the formula, right? This, this is the same thing that's right here which is also right here. It's all the same exact numbers um, at different rates and that applies all. So, so there's some uniformity and nice symmetry in, in the way that the rates are structured. And what you can do once you have this is you can put them all into one formula. And I have already done this now for the new year and apply the, the nested if formula that you need to put it all into one formula. This is what this is doing. Married filing jointly, box no check. If the income's less, less than 25,000, 896, do this. If it's less than 46,000, uh, 452, do this. And, and those are the same numbers that we just saw um, right here, okay? So, um, so you can download this and use it if you need uh, access to what the rates actually are because I believe the IRS hasn't furnished it to us. Did that really, did that really happen? Um, I'm sure they'll fix it in response to my video um, because they don't want to be shown up. But I, I don't, I really don't know. It's not the same table as the one that's about pensions and annuities at the top. So I, I believe they just omitted the annualized formula because this is for, for small business centers and not for payroll providers and they didn't want to provide the annual rate. I have no idea. Um, but uh, point is, is it's done now, and I noticed typing in the rates that your your paycheck, you're gonna have a couple bucks you're gonna save every paycheck, depending on how much you make. But it's not a lot of money. That they staggered the rates up a little bit uh, compared to last year for cost of living adjustments, and, and and the first first chunk of money a lot of times is not taxable. Like it's almost this like standard deduction sort of that they've done. If um, because the, the old W-4 is old now. There are also rates for the old W-4, which I've also done, but they did provide the annualized rate table for those. So that is in the publication 15, even though the annualized rate table for the other six options based with the with the new 2020 W-4 is not in there. So anyway, that's the update. We're making a ton of progress on payroll here on Christmas, and 
next couple of days really tearing through this and doing videos and getting this product out to everybody who uses this payroll and Excel file. It, it's it's amazing and getting more amazinger every every single day. All right, so payroll should be easy to make it so. Um, and if if anybody sees any errors here in these formulas of what these annualized rates are supposed to be. Uh, or they revise the publication 15 after this video, please leave a comment below so that we can correct it. But I think this should be good to go. All right, good luck. Payroll should be easy to make it so.